Oh God. <laughs> Don't look, don't look, don't look. Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I thought it would be kind of fun to build in the way that I used to build in The Sims previously. I've been playing this game for about 20 years. I've been playing it since The Sims 1, but I've never been a builder until literally this year. <laughs> so that is 20 years of awful builds. I did not improve. I didn't want to improve. So I'm gonna try and build the way that I used to build. And then we will compare with the way that I build now, see how we have improved i mean listen we're still learning but we've come a long way <laughs> so we're gonna get into it if you guys like the video please give me a thumbs up leave any comments or suggestions you may have in the comment section down below and let's get into the video so obviously we're gonna build here with my noob house the way that i used to build house <laughs> so i had very little strategy when i used to build i would literally like start building room by room so i'd be like okay you walk in here and then we're gonna have a living room and then we're gonna have a kitchen and somewhere around here we're gonna need a bathroom and I guess we'll just throw the bedroom way back here <laughs> that's what I did there was no layout there was no rhyme or reason how am I supposed to roof this past noob Sid how I think I did foundations sometimes but I would often forget to change them so the foundation is just gonna stay that solid gray color <laughs> roofing obviously roofing was not my my favorite thing ever I'm pretty sure this is like doing a good job compared to what I used to do it was would probably have ended up being like this covering pretty much as much as I could <laughs> this is hard for now me what the heck okay whatever I probably would have left that to be quite honest and then over here who knows we probably would have just like stuck it in there with something like that okay I feel like this is good for like past me <laughs> um all right let's put some doors let's put some windows for stairs I definitely would have just oh god what is happening for stairs I definitely would have just gone like this <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't know that you could make a real patio until very recently I didn't even know that you can make your stairs smaller until very recently. We're gonna go like this probably would have used that little go-to fence there and let's get a door if you also watch any of my past videos you know that I was not a fan of color like I am now I was strictly neutral I'm pretty sure I even said in like the pre-made rooms video that I like to build with browns blacks and whites which honey not anymore things have changed I feel like this would have been a pretty typical noob me door look at the roof I <laughs> very rarely did I remember to put roof paint so we're gonna skip that I think I don't, I don't even think I did Tr like landscaping I think I probably would have put a tree here and there maybe like one one or two trees definitely no terrain paint windows I think I would literally just kind of like put as many windows on here as I could. I mean, I still do that. Look at this roofing. Oh my. I think this is now me messing up. There is no excuse for that. <laughs> Probably just like space out my windows and kind of just put them all the way around. Like it would be like this. <laughs> okay. And for the outside of the house, probably would have just been like a solid brick. Nothing else. No bump outs. No random colors. No nothing. Just straight up brick. No trim on my roof. <laughs> None of these things exist existed to me until literally like five months ago. <laughs> I would even be lucky to get a light outside, I think. Probably, honestly, would not have remembered to put a mailbox, but I'm just gonna stick one in because my sanity will not handle it today. Like, I mean, this is pretty much it. This is, this is as good as it pretty much got. Let's go inside <laughs> to this disaster layout here. Okay, let's put some doors. I was lazy before when I built my homes. Like, they made no sense. I, I didn't care about the build. I kind of just wanted to get into the gameplay. I was more of a cast player. So yeah, this is what it would be. It would be like a race to finish the house as quickly as possible. I think I used this a lot more often than I do now, which is still pretty often. Would have definitely just been like strictly one color walls, maybe a brown. <laughs> Lighting would have just been these, but they probably wouldn't have been properly spaced out. So it would probably just be like, oh God. <laughs> Don't look, don't look, don't look. Furniture, again, was very neutral, very basic, nothing fun. <laughs> Absolutely nothing fun. Probably would have been like something like this. And then I would have my TV here. I would always use the same like flat screen mounted TV. Maybe a fireplace if we were feeling fancy at the time. Like... <laughs> I feel like this is an improvement, I swear. Don't think I decorated with a lot of plants. I don't think I cluttered like at all. We maybe would have had like a lamp like this right here. Don't think I probably would have put a rug. Bookshelf, I always made sure to put a bookshelf so that my Sims could learn. I always used this one. This was like go-to. It was, 
That's the one. <laughs> Pictures, I don't even think I put stuff on the wall ever. If I did, it would have been like, I think this one, I think that one's always been one of my favorites. So we'll put that there. Maybe a computer. I, I probably would have put a computer again because I was focused on gameplay. So I would only put things that I knew that I needed for gameplay. And I always cheated. Oh, I always cheated. When I was building, there's no way you're gonna set me to a budget, no. So again, probably would have used like the most basic one they had, probably like, I don't know, cover the windows. Oh, the windows don't even. I would cut my window off directly it didn't matter she was like i can't even physically do it now oh like this it would be like that just straight up would leave it didn't care probably would have gone something like that honestly just literally just like that like i'm not kidding when i tell you this is probably it i really enjoyed having pets in my game so i probably had a pet bed and maybe some toys for the, the pet i was not evil I wasn't evil but asked me if we included a food bowl in this build I still loved my doggies. Okay, th yeah, this is pretty much what it would look like. Very like too big, no rooms made sense. And then we would go over to the bathroom. <laughs> Flooring and wallpaper probably would have been something like this. No curtains, didn't think about that, no way. Toilet, never any toilet paper. Oh, <laughs> no toilet paper. Shower was very basic like this. And sink, I would have di put the directly in front of the window. Did not care, okay? It was literally just this. You had a bathroom, didn't have to be pretty, but you had one. <laughs> Moving on along kitchen what is this room supposed to be see that's the thing too i would just like fill it up with random random stuff okay let's do our kitchen <laughs> again with the disaster lighting probably would have done flooring and wallpaper exactly the same i'm not gonna lie i'm having a blast just completely messing this build up would have used this fridge or you know what i probably would have maybe used one of these but no color <laughs> absolutely no color we would have gone like this i would have used my counters probably just like these ones sink oven again this is it <laughs> That's it. No garbage probably, didn't think about that. I would have thought about the garbage later when my Sims are like trying to find a place to put their garbage, then I would have added the garbage, but not in the initial build. <laughs> Dining room would have been probably just right here. Maybe just like a nice big long table with some chairs. Probably would have just been basic white like this. <laughs> I wonder if I would have put a plant on there. Probably not. Maybe. Maybe we would have at least one plant. It probably would have been this plant. This is my favorite plant for such a long time. I probably would have went like that. And then even back here, who knows? Like what, what would I put? Maybe a chess table? It honestly probably would have been like a random chess table over here. Why? Don't know. Probably same chairs. There we go, beautiful. <laughs> Let's move on. Would probably not include a door there. A door would be going into my bedroom over here. This would probably just be a room where I filled it up with random crap. Anything that I liked and wanted in my home would have gone in here. So gyms, I used to always include gyms. I never make gyms now. We probably would have had a gym there and then over here would have been like something completely different, like an easel or something right over there. Maybe toss in like a DJ booth because I thought it was cool. Just like to have right in the middle of your home for no reason. Oh, the bar would have made it. Definitely would have put the bar. Put the bar over there. Definitely the bar. Maybe like a fish tank because I thought it looked cool. Oh, this. I feel like I put this in my house randomly all the time. Oh, I would have put the hamster too. Definitely would have put the hamster. This is turning out like the quarantine house. <laughs> Keg stand. Literally anything that I thought my Sims would like have fun with, I would just like toss in here. There we go. That's my room. This is what I would have done. <laughs> okay, and then back here, let's do our bedroom. Same flooring and wallpaper throughout, by the way. Look at the lighting. Oh my god. Okay, Bed. Bed, again, would have been very neutral, all white everything, all neutral everything would have been something like this. I always did that though. I always put my end tables there for some reason. Mirror, probably would have been this one. Dresser, maybe like something like that over there. <laughs> I wonder if I would have put clutter on here. If I did, it probably would have been like magazines or like nail polish or something. I would have probably put a TV in here and you know what I would do is probably just completely cover up the window. I probably would have used like the biggest one too. I would have been like, here you go. <laughs> cover the windows, no curtains no curtains and again probably the same plant in the corner <laughs> this would have been it that's probably it maybe another skill item in here or something and like a fish <laughs> a guitar there we go yeah this would have been the build this is it yeah there's no light in the bathroom that's okay because i probably wouldn't have remembered one there we go so this is how i used to build <laughs> that's it there she is super gorgeous what do you think so this is the noob build i'm gonna go next door and renovate this <laughs> and see what we can do with it. Okay, here they are side by side. Now I'm going to renovate this one in the way that I would normally build. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix the shape of this thing. First of all, the roofing just has to go. I'm gonna delete everything. It all has to go. Okay, so we've kind of fixed the layout. I'm gonna do bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. 
two bathrooms there and then open concept kitchen, living and dining. This is very large for a like bungalow house. I kind of want to like shrink it. <laughs> so I'm going to shrink it. Okay, roofing this thing is actually still annoying. <laughs> I mean, it's slightly better, but still very annoying. I'm going to add a patio. We definitely need a patio. I'm going to get rid of these trees. We're going to do fully brand new landscaping. Might put them back later. We need roof paint. We need roof trim. We need foundation. <laughs> Maybe we'll keep some of this brick, but we'll do a nice siding as well. So it's going to be mixed up between just one color and a few. We'll do a nice patio here with the stairs actually pushed in. And then let's get a door. Let's do windows. Ooh, I'm thinking seasons. This house is giving me big seasons vibes. Gonna put a variety of windows that are still kind of similar. We didn't have a backyard last time. We should definitely add a backyard. Maybe I'll put a cute little path leading back here. We'll put a nice pool. Backyards were not a thing. I would maybe, maybe I would have put a pool like this. Maybe. If we were feeling super fancy, we would have had a pool. <laughs> I'm gonna fence this backyard in. This is definitely something I wouldn't have done. A wide open backyard with a pool. Nothing is wrong there. <laughs> Add some terrain paint. Definitely would not have used debug. Definitely just figured out about debug like recently very very recently <laughs> sis did not have time to do anything like this in the past okay sis definitely has time now though definitely let's do some landscaping um obviously none of my builds go without landscaping nowadays <laughs> okay so i finished the outside of this house i've added some plants around i've got a cute little path leading to the back got my chimneys up there roof trim the whole bit landscaping <laughs> actual things for my sims to do in their backyard so uh, we've got all of this kind of stuff covered here. I've also fixed my layout. So I've done the flooring and wallpaper all around. Let's start, I guess, with the main area. So obviously we're gonna go colorful fridge here. This is my favorite. If you guys don't know already, I'm obsessed with this fridge. We'll get the matching oven. I think I wanna do an island here too. So we're gonna get the matching jungle adventure counters. Maybe just a small island here. These never would have existed back in the day. I'll tell you that much. We're we're gonna include clutter items. Obviously, we definitely need the clutter in my builds today. <laughs> we have to include a garbage before we forget, so our garbage is right there. <laughs> this looks cute so far. I like the brown and blue kind of colors. Got all of our kitchen essentials. Obviously, we have to have our cookbooks on top of my fridge here. Cute! Oh, I like it. This light is a little big. I'm gonna shrink this light. Maybe we'll just kind of put a rug down the middle and be done. Let's do maybe a dining room right here down the middle. So I'm gonna grab a dining room table, some nice chairs. Let's use that rug. I kind of like that. And now I want to change this one over here. Maybe something like that. Obviously gonna have to put some pictures on the wall. Love the color schemes in Get Famous with that picture. And I feel like it kind of brings everything together. So that is perfect. Let's do the living room, which will be over here. And we're gonna include our fireplace again. Our living room over here is kind of small, but it looks cozy. Small, but cozy. There we go for my living room. Very colorful. I'm pretty sure we're okay to move on from this room. We've got our dining area. We have our kitchen, our living room. I really love this build. I love the color schemes happening. Let's do the two bathrooms and we'll finish this off with the bedrooms. So again, this build is really big. The bathrooms are even big. Cute little bathroom number one over here. Just need some towels for my sink. Maybe a garbage can as well. There we go. Super, super adorable bathroom happening in here. This is bathroom number one. Let's go and do the other one. This one might be a little bit smaller. Honestly, even just adding little details like towels and stuff can make a difference in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, there we are for this bathroom. Uh, nothing too crazy, but at least there's something in there. <laughs> Let's do the bedroom. So I do have a kid's bedroom in this build. Let's get that one over with. Uni is my favorite. I love uni so much. <laughs> Cute little toy box. Gonna make this super colorful and pretty. Ooh, treehouse. Yes. Oh, this is cute. I really like this kid's room. Look at this. It's so colorful and pretty. Okay, why do I want this room? <laughs> okay, I think we're done with this room. Super cute and colorful. Definitely not something I would have done before, for sure. Let's do the teen's room next, and then we'll do the master bedroom. Let's maybe go with a color scheme kind of like this, and then cute tiny living end table stool thing. We do not have a whole lot of room in here <laughs> at all, but I think I kind of want to mount a TV in here if I can. Maybe 
maybe even just like a small one like that. We'll kind of just put that over there. Okay, I feel like I should have given the teen the bigger bedroom. The kid over there is very spoiled and it has the bigger one. Sorry about it. There we go, super cute. I like it in here. Let's move on to the final master bedroom. We'll put our dresser. I think I have room for a seating area over here or a desk or something because this bedroom is massive. This is gonna be a perfect little nook for a desk. I'm gonna stick a desk in here. I've kind of just added a little TV with a couch over here. This room is very big, so we can fill it up with clutter. We can fill it up with like pretty much anything at this point. Okay, there we go. I think we're done with the master bedroom. This turned out so adorable. I love the like coral color kind of happening in here, but yeah, so this is how we decorate now <laughs> compared to how I built my house before <laughs> as a noob. So let me know what you guys think about this challenge. Obviously, I will be putting that house on the gallery and not this one. <laughs> I know you really want it. I'm so sorry, but yeah, I will put that on the gallery under City Macarena. Uh, let me know how you guys like this video and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.